Can't guarantee it's going to happen tonight. You know how paranormal stuff is. It's, it's not like we can flip a switch and it happens. But sometimes I can walk through this place and it's like a big old empty building. And then it's like someone flips a switch all of a sudden. And it's a big old creepy building. Question. Have yes, ma'am. Have you ever been frightened? Uh, I got frightened about three months ago when I was doing a sweep at 4 a.m. to make sure the building was clear, make sure everyone was out. Here's the clip again at half speed. Just prior to this, I'm in the back of the room, and as I walk towards the front of the room, I'm able to document the presence of all of our team members and our tour guide in this space, with the exception of one investigator, Phil, who's down the hallway taking some photographs. Several minutes after the shadow figure is filmed, Phil returns to the room. And as you can see him in this doorway, you can clearly see light and dark values that define who he is. Even as he steps back into the door frame here, we still see those light and dark values and we can tell that we're looking at a person. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left-hand side, you see the shadow figure and on the right, our investigator, Phil. And on the top frames, I've done nothing to lighten these up, but you can clearly see those light and dark values. You can clearly see that we're looking at Phil here. You can see his pants, his shirt, which turns up white in the infrared light. You can see the straps from his backpack and you can see his camera and the hat that he's wearing on his head. This detail does not exist on the figure on the left. On the bottom, I've lightened it up substantially so you can see this difference even clearer. No matter how much I brighten up the still frames or the video, I'm unable to bring out any detail in the figure on the left other than a black shape. In addition, the body type here is totally different. The figure on the left appears to be very slender, while Phil takes up more space in the doorway. And if you use the shape on the wall in the background as a point of reference, you can see that the height of the two figures is different as well. Here's where the top of Phil's head is, and here's the top of the head of the figure on the left. Based on this comparison, you can see that Phil is almost a full head taller than the figure on the left. Aside from general proximity, there's absolutely no similarity between the figure on the left and our investigator Phil. This leaves us with no doubt in our minds that the figure on the left and the figure on the right are not the same. With everybody in the building accounted for, including our tour guide, we're left with absolutely no explanation for the figure on the left. Let's see it one more time in full speed. Can't guarantee it's going to happen tonight. You know how paranormal stuff is. It's it's not like we can flip a switch and it happens, but sometimes I can walk through this place and it's like a big old empty building, and then it's like someone flips a switch all of a sudden, and it's a big old creepy building. Question. Have yes, ma'am. Have you ever been frightened? Uh, I got frightened about three months ago when I was doing a sweep at 4 a.m. to make sure the building was clear, make sure everyone was out.